Hello everyone, and welcome to the fifth episode in a series where we create a design system in Figma called FDS. In this episode, we'll be creating spacing variables. And first things first, you're probably wondering why I'm wearing a cap. That's because I bashed my head on a train earlier this week, and instead of you having to deal with and get distracted by this little plaster, I'm just going to put this on and get on with it. Okay, so what is spacing? Spacing is the space between text, images, buttons, and other interface elements that ensures visual harmony, readability, and usability across the experiences that you create. If we look at our global scale and t-shirt sizing, we use a global eight point system where a baseline of eight pixels is multiplied to give us a set of consistent and expected values. In the table below, you can see all of the values we'll be using along with their t-shirt size names, multipliers, and pixel values. So the group of course is on the left, spacing. Then we go all the way from two XS or two extra small all the way up to 12 XL or 12 extra large. In the next column, you can see the multiplier and then the value all the way from two up to 112. And if we look at some examples, these examples show how spacing can be used at a component, content and screen level. For a component, in this input component, the label and help text are both eight pixels away from the field. Inside the field, we use 16 pixel horizontal and 12 pixel vertical padding to frame the text and error icon, which is separated by eight pixels. And you can see all that in action here. Between the label and the field, there's eight. Between the field and help text, there's eight. Horizontally, from left to right, we've got 16 on the left side or the leading side and 16 on the right or trailing side. And then in between the text itself and the icon, we have eight, which gives us this composition. For content and for cards, the content is given breathing room with 16 pixel padding on all sides, eight pixel between the heading and text, and 16 pixels between the text and the author's details. So here you go, you've got the 16 pixel padding all the way around, eight between the header and the text, 16 between the text and the author's details, and then the avatar and the details are separated by eight as well. And at a screen level, for app screens, side margins of 24 pixels keep the content away from the edge of the screen, and inside the content area, we separate each content block by 16. Then use eight pixels between headings and text. And if we hide the spacing, and we can do that by just selecting the spacing layer here and turning it off, you can see how providing enough white space around each element has created a layout that makes the content easier to consume. All right, let's stop talking about spacing variables and go and make some. We open up local variables, got the semantic set already open, but we're going to create a collection, call it spacing, and then create our first variable, which is a number. Let's make the smallest one first. And its pixel value is two. Okay, and I think we need 17 of these, so let's duplicate this 16 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen. Sixteen. We might have one extra one, but we'll just delete that later on if that's the case. Now we're going to go to the name and just give them the names that they should have. So we're going to have small, medium, large, XL, 2XL, 3XL, 4XL. You get the idea. Can you see a pattern forming here? That's right, 6XL. 7XL, 8XL, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, let's delete that last one. And let's go down the value column and make them what they should be. So we've got 4, 8, 12, 16, 24, all multiples of eight, of course, from here onwards. So we've got 40, 48, 56, 64, 72, 
80, 88, 96, 104, and then 1112. We're going to select all of them. Right click and go new group with selection and rename this space. Okay, now they're made, let's go back to one of our examples and see how we could apply them. Okay, in this card, we go into the container. You can see that there's 16 here. If we drop this down, there you go. We can just scroll down, find our, which is 16. We'll do the same thing here. Inside the content, 16 again, so we're just going to drop this down, apply variable, go to L, inside text, set small, and then between the author, also set small. And if you are an engineer, have dev mode, I can turn that on and see the spacing variables there. And that's it for spacing. In the next episode, we'll cover layout and breakpoints. I hope you're looking after yourselves and each other, and I'll see you in the next one.